Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Max Elway and Johannes Hendrik Otto van den Bosch. This game was played in Amsterdam in 1929. Max Elway had white pieces and he started with d4. Johannes Hendrik Otto van den Bosch played knight to f6. c4, e6. Knight to c3, d5. Queen's gambit declined. Bishop to g5, knight from b to d7, e3, and now Bosch played c6, going for the Cambridge Springs variation, intending queen to a5 and bishop to b4, knight to f3, queen to a5, white to move. If white continues normally, say with bishop to d3, then black can play, pawn takes pawn on c4, or even a knight to e4, and if bishop takes on e4, d takes on e4, and if knight goes back, queen takes bishop on g5. So perhaps knight to e5 is the best move, but this position was not to Elvis' liking. So he played knight to d2, bishop to b4, queen to c2, d takes on c4. Can you see what is this doing? This is discovered attack on the bishop on g5. Bishop takes knight on f6, knight takes on f6. Knight takes on c4 attacking the queen, queen to d5. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Max Elway decided to entertain his audience with his next move. He played very risky move, just killing. He castled, queenside, black to move, bishop takes on c3, and now another surprise, I guess queen takes on c3 was expected. Max ever played, pawn takes bishop, b5, attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do? Max ever played e4. Attack is the best defense. Sometimes. Queen to d8. Knight to e3. Black to move. Queen to b6. Bosch decided to postpone castling. Perhaps he was worried about g4. Bosch played queen to b6. White to move. Max ever played c4. Another surprise. You would not expect white to push pawns in front of his king like that, would you? c5. Perhaps again, castling should have been considered. Maybe black was worried about e5, and after knight to e8, c5, closing the c-file. So, to prevent the closing of the c-file, Bosch played c5. c takes on b5, c takes on d4. If only black had time to move the bishop on c8 somewhere and then bring the rook to c8, he would punish white for his play. Maybe he has time, let's see. Knight to c4, attacking the queen, a queen to b8. If queen takes on b5, then knight to d6, check, and white is winning the queen. Maybe queen to c5 should have been considered. Queen to b8 was played, e5, knight to d7, knight to d6, check, king to e7, rook takes pawn on d4, a6 intending to open the a-file and to crush white king. Not a bad idea. Rook to c4, black to move. Bosch was thinking, which pawn to capture, the e-pawn? Or the B pawn. Otto remembered that center pawns are more valued. And he played knight takes on e5. However, in this particular case, a takes on b5 was better. And one line goes like this rook to c7, rook to d8, and now with queen to c5. This doesn't work because of king to f8. 
and black is okay. Perhaps in this position, Ewe would have to find the Lemu, perhaps develop the bishop. Back to our game. In the game we have knight takes on e5, and now check, knight to d7, queen to c5, there is no time to play rook to d8. What happens if rook to d8 is played? If rook to d8, the knight takes on c8, check. And if king to f8 is played, then rook takes on d7, bishop takes on d7, knight to c8, discover check, king to g8, knight to e7, check, king to f8. And now, how would you continue now? The best move for white is knight to c6, check, and white is winning the queen. Smart that checkmate doesn't work. Did you notice that? Knight to g6 doesn't work. Because after king to g8, check doesn't work. Oops, and queen takes knight. Okay, back to our game. And to avoid this awful variation with king to f8, which we just saw, Bosch played king to f6. White move. What would you do? White. Play the move and black resigned. The move is knight to e4 check. Black resigned in view of this continuation. King to g6 and there is checkmate in one. Queen to g5. Checkmate. Wow, what a game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.